Hello, here I am at the Pitchfork Festival with David Yao, the lead singer of the Jesus Lizard. Hi, John. How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? I'm great. You should, we should just do it like this. It's much better. Okay. <laughs> Mine will just hang limply. <laughs> limply. <laughs> he said limply, folks. Yeah, and it's this is the first time this has happened. Yeah, limply is a uh, flaccid for uh, it's Welch for flaccid. Yes, <laughs> limply. It's with a double L and a Y. Limp. That's right. Yeah. I don't want to do that anymore. Nice <coughs> I was fun for a while, but like most things. So what's going on? Why are why the Jesus Lizard playing at pitch in this park in Chicago on a gray Friday night? Because they're paying us like crazy. Really? The, the pay is insane. The, of all the 35 or 40 shows we're doing, this is the biggest, this is the most one, most money. Reason enough. <coughs> yeah. When was the last time you guys played together, apart from last night? <laughs> uh, we did five shows in uh, May in Europe. We did two ATPs in Minehead and then one in London. Oh, right, right. And then one in Paris and one in Barcelona. But before that, the last time with Mac was 13 years ago. That's before you signed the Capitol and all that, is it? No, he did the first record on Capitol with all us. Right. <clears throat> so is it going good? <laughs> what, this interview? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, I think it's fantastic. Yeah, I think I think it's probably the yeah. other than the sock puppet earlier. Uh, this oh, is did you talk to the sock puppet? I talked to the sock the puppet. The rat. The rat. Oh really? Yeah. I, I did an interview with the rat. The Funny, it actually. was really good, did and he was so. I wanted to kiss him. Did you kiss the rat? I didn't kiss the rat, did but I tickled. I, I tickled his feet. Okay. My wife asked me to French kiss you from her. That was the last thing she said to me. I found that really depressing. <laughs> that was two years ago. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, the rat. The rat. Um, do they we have, can't talk about that on this show. Did they have anyone operating it? What do you mean? Was it like one guy operating it? Yes. Oh, but he had his kid operating it when I did it, and the, the, the rat just kept walking off. So uh, I hear, I read in Time Out the other morning. I went and sat on the toilet and I read your interview in Time Out. I just thought it was the right place to do it. And uh, said you were not going to get naked and you were fat. I won't get naked while we're playing. I Generally, every time I shower, I take my clothes off. Right, that helps. But, but I... I don't, I don't see you... I don't think you look fat. Well... You look fantastic. Well, I got a belly. Yeah. But the other day, you know, getting older, how it goes and stuff... The other day I started getting the shower with my glasses on. And I, and I felt so like... So you it, could see your parts better? My parts, yeah. <laughs> so I could determine whether or not they were clean. <coughs> oh, that's belly, clean. You probably would. Yeah, you probably yeah, yeah. Want, more I used to have a periscope or something. I, got a, I use one of those mirrors that the bomb squads use, you know, to <coughs> check it out. Oh, right. my, my testicles are still dirty. <laughs> Ah, oh. mm. <laughs> okay. So, uh, and then you play some rock and roll tonight. And yeah, I think go we're gonna do, with do the Jesus a Lizard. full Will set. Will you make an album with the Jesus Lizard? I doubt it. I think there's a chance of maybe a live record. I think we're gonna finish up in Chicago in May, in uh, November. Right. And uh, I'd like to record th those shows. It's gonna be two shows, and it would be nice to pick and choose whatever sounds the best, and maybe do a live record. But I don't know if that'll happen or not. Oh. <coughs> I was talking to Patrick Monaghan uh, and Julia Adams. Patrick, who runs Carrot Top, and Julia runs, uh, used to run the Lounge Axe. Yeah. And they said the first date they went on, you went on it with them. It was like a threesome. Do you have any memory of that? That's complete bullshit. Okay, good. <coughs> I find that quite a relief. No, to be quite no, honest. it was. Uh... Really? That's what they said. They just said it just now. No, it's John Bonin and his wife, whose name I don't recall. Oh, you went on a date with them? Yeah, yeah. Wow, you're just a. You have the love in you. And actually, if I can bore you for just a second, it's a pretty Please good story. Please do. Please do. Susie and I, my ex wife, uh, we were going to go see that first Batman movie. Right. Not, the, not the first Michael one. Michael Keaton. Uh, yeah. Oh, the yeah. silent one. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, and we went to the theater and it was sold out and so we were going to go do something else and then there was John Bone and his girlfriend and so we said well let's go to the, the south side was having it as a drive-in and John had this like 62 Rambler and so we were in line to go pull into the drive-in and both the girls said they needed to uh, make pee-pee and um, 
John said, "Well, I've got some toilet paper in the trunk," and so and there and we were parked on the street, and there was this uh, uh, railway railroad running next to the the street. And he said, well, you can just go over there and On the take tracks. care of your business. Yeah. And so he turned out the car and opened the trunk and got his uh, toilet paper out. And then he started cussing. And I said, what's the problem? And he goes, well, when I turn the car off, it won't start again for like 20 minutes. So we had to push it into the drive-in. So it was actually a push-in. And then <laughs> Susie and I and John's girlfriend are pushing the car. And he pulls up to the ticket counter. And he goes, one, please. One. One ticket. Are you serious? Yeah, but they knew, and it worked out, and it was fun. And the movie was just exceptional. It was a double feature with a <laughs> well, double I, feature with. Um, well, uh, that's a mean spirited end to that story, isn't it? Really, I well, thought, the, tra I thought the, tr the car was stuck on the tracks. They're peeing behind it, and then a train came. Yep. No. Mm. No. It didn't happen. Yeah, well, sometimes reality isn't as good as the imagination. Um, there was one other thing. I remember you playing a crowbar. Oh, on New Year's? No, it was on a Wednesday night. Well, like <laughs> oh, well, then it couldn't have been New Year's. That never happens on Wednesdays. <laughs> and there was like an actual. There was actually the. Me and Butch were sitting at a little table at the back of the crowd, and there was actually, you know, it was like it was packed with big, a lot of big guys <coughs> at the back. We couldn't really see anything. But um, we were sitting having a drink and trying to talk over this noise, and suddenly I could hear this yelling, and you had, you'd, you'd surfed all the way out. And you kind of came tumbling off the back of the crowd. Do you remember that? Uh, vaguely. Well, there was this deal. Whitney, our sound man, if I can make it back to the soundboard, he has to give me a gift. Whatever ah. it is. Like, uh, it could be a bottle of water. It could be a dollar bill. It could be an inflatable doll. Whatever the whatever you felt like at the time. No, whatever he had for me. Okay. You, know, it you could were be almost a, out of the club, though, but it was just... Yeah. It was kind of sweet. We were sitting there having a private moment, and then you were kind of <laughs> dangling over us, screaming. It was good. Well, it's a weird place to have a private moment, yeah, especially crowbar. with Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my last, uh, my last question was: Did Bot Botch is a, uh, both of our agents, and uh, he, he had an idea of recreating Pancho Villa's last ride into Mexico, to Mexico City, and he wanted me to go with him. And he said the other person he wanted to go was you. Did he ever ask you about that? He's not mentioned it. He's never mentioned it. No, I thought not. Okay. Are you are you going to be uh, we're, cl we're clearing up quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of shit here. Yeah. So. Are you going to are you Poncho or is he Poncho or Poncho? Ponchi, Poncho the Ponchi. <laughs> hey, I'm here. Oh, here's Marty and he wants to so I, I think Marty probably wants to put the interview on a higher level. Look at that microphone. I just Here's finished a catfish sandwich. Mm. I'm very happy. Uh, you're going to be doing uh, more shows in Chicago, right? Yeah, I think we'll probably finish up in November at the Metro. Like multiple nights uh, stints? Uh, like I believe two nights, and I get, I'm get i allowed to announce it from the stage tonight. How so cool. if I remember, I, what I plan on doing is saying that, you know, if you're more interested in seeing us at the Metro than, you know, here at a big festival, just be sure and tell them when you're leaving, you'll get a full refund. <laughs> <laughs> Signed, David Yao. Yeah, yeah. excellent. That's great. And then uh, Thrill Jack, or not Thrill Jackie, um, Touch and Go is also uh, re-releasing some of those early records, right? Yeah, there's these reissues that have been um, uh, remastered by Bob Weston and Steve Albini, and I've heard them, and they sound substantially better. Oh, that's cool. And um, with, the, um, with them comes a bunch of liner notes and photos and stuff and anecdotes and... <laughs> it's really, it's really kind of a nice set. They're nice setup. I just saw the artwork for the vinyl uh, yesterday, and it looks really, really good. They're all gatefolds and all that kind of stuff. Oh, cool. Sally Tim's. Sally Tim's. Holy really shit, work. Sally Tim. Hey, Sally, kind of cold out here, huh? Sally. 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 We're doing an interview. You look like you're in jail. <laughs> <coughs> Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> Don't feed her. Well, it's great. You're not mad at me? No, why would I? It's why would I right. be mad at you? That was good. Yeah. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Right. Maker's Mark. It was very, very uh, deep interview. It was. Well, you're a deep feller. I know I'm, and I'm not. I'm incredibly <laughs> shallow. That's why they have me. <laughs> That's so right. Well, we go. make a good pair. <laughs> Opposites don't attract. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.